Have you ever wondered how some people just exude confidence? How they just simply walk into a room, shift the entire vibe, and command attention without even trying? Guys, I've been there before and went from second guessing myself and having low self-esteem to creating my dream life. Once I finally figured out how to become my own dream woman. If you have ever thought to yourself, how can I reinvent myself and become a new person? Then this video will show you that if you don't do one integral thing, you'll never change your life. And if you need some help figuring it all out, I've got you covered with my super duper easy for our system that you can start using today. The first thing you may be asking is, is reinventing yourself as e easy as just changing your looks? I wish it was. Changing your looks definitely can be transformative to overall shifting who you are so that when you literally look in the mirror, you feel like a different person. But the thing is, changing your looks is just a small fraction of the entire process. Before you just decide, I'm going to change how I look and that'll change my life, here are some things to consider you might run into. You may be constrained on time. Perhaps you're super disorganized and haven't intentionally figured out what's already available to you. You may already have gym equipment or fitness subscriptions if you want to work out, and it's possible you already have the means, you just haven't coordinated a plan. You may be constrained on money. Maybe to become a new person, you feel you need a new source of income or a new job, or maybe you need to look at what you already have. You can use social media like Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube for inspiration on how to make a timeless look or uh, wardrobe because trendy doesn't always mean timeless. You also may be constrained with how you look right now. Say you want to lose weight, gain weight, get stronger. Those are drastic changes that aren't impossible, but they do take time. For example, Embracing my curly hair was a huge part of reinventing myself. I always had straight relaxed hair growing up until I was 18 and stopped chemically relaxing it. The next step was to start wearing it curly, which I did my junior, senior year of college. And let's just say it was a bit rough. I had people asking me, why did I stick my finger in an electrical socket? Rude. Family members said they preferred my hair straight. I even had a college professor, a black college professor pulled me aside and said it was not a good idea for me to wear my hair naturally curly because he felt I wouldn't be taken seriously in a professional world. But I just knew in my mind that I wanted to love my natural self and in order to get there, it would take time. I would have to get curly haircuts, play with products and styles until I figured out what would work for me. So the lesson here is as you reinvent yourself, be patient with who you are right now. Love who you are now, as that is the only foundation you have to take you to the next level you are going. And I just realized I haven't introduced myself. I'm MJ, or Mallory Hank Johnson, but that's too long for the internet. <laughs> and I've reinvented myself more times than I can count. I've glowed up and leveled up my career, my love life, business, and friendships by repeating the easy for our process. And this is the perfect time to tell you about step one, rewire. Before you change physically, you're going to have to change the most important, the most important parts of you, your mind and your heart. And to change your mind and heart, you will need to take note of what's happening in your mind that's standing in your way to be your full and best version of yourself, your higher self. <laughs> to do this, you need to recognize and challenge any limiting beliefs that may be holding you back. These beliefs can be your abilities, your worthiness, or your potential. When I wanted to become a new woman, I recognized I had a lot of misconceptions about myself, my money mindset, who I wanted to be in this world, I honestly thought I was not good enough or worthy enough to take up space and therefore wouldn't even try. I had to confront these misconceptions head on and by first becoming aware of them. And then you need to replace them with empowering beliefs. I think the easiest way to do this is journaling, meditating, affirmations, affirmation cards, practicing gratitude, 
getting support, you know, being around like-minded people, getting a coach. I mean, these things can really shift you. Educating yourself, really pouring into yourself, like watching videos like this and reading new books, immersing yourself in a new thought process of the person you want to become. Now, personally, I have spent thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars on coaches to help me on this. Coaches, courses, eBooks, you name it. But you don't have to do that. There's so much available to you in this digital and information age for free 99, like this video. So as you start rewiring, you will then start doing the next step, which is radiate. <laughs> now radiating is you want to be armed with this fresh mindset or now that you're armed, now, now that you're armed with this fresh mindset, you need to first tap into what lights you up and double down on that. Tap into what you need, tap into what you desire, into what makes you feel good, what makes you feel confident. And it may take some time to figure out what these things are. If you are stuck on what the world tells you to be instead of who you want to be. For me, again, I wanted better hair. I just didn't want this like flat look. <laughs> and so I needed new styling products and a style that would make me feel good and confident. I had to really push through other people's limiting beliefs and the narrative of straight hair is professional to find what made the most sense for me and what can be really, that, that honestly could just be really difficult to do. Radiating may mean changing yourself physically, but this is really anchored with this new mindset, the rewiring and perspective that you now have. And armed with this, you can begin imagining your dream life, the woman you want to become. So when you're confronted with an obstacle or a choice, you don't decide as you are today, you decide as your future self, your higher self. How would you, how would someone confident about their hair respond to a naysayer? How would a CEO of a company decide on something? What kind of car would a mom drive if you're trying to become a mother? Embodying and radiating this new mindset allows you to practice and become who you desire to, de to be. Who you desire to be. And before you know it, you are truly becoming a new woman, which may now mean it's time to replace some things, which is the next step. As you evolve, people will start noticing. People will be on board. But others may challenge your new way of thinking. And that's why I believe they're, if they aren't aligned, they need to get behind, okay? Meaning you put them in the rear view mirror of this new journey that you're on, of reinventing yourself, while they get to see you continue to progress and flourish. My parents both gave me great advice in terms of friendships growing up. My dad always said, you are who you surround yourself by. And my mom, she always said, everybody ain't your friend. <laughs> your circle truly is a reflection of you. And if you don't feel empowered, if you don't feel supported, nourished, or health, healthily challenged by your circle, you are in the wrong group, guys. I know it isn't easy making new friends or creating boundaries with your loved ones, but it will be necessary as you go about this new evolution. On my self-awareness journey, I joined coaching programs to be surrounded by like-minded people. I paid to get friends, y'all, and to be led and mentored by people I looked up to. I put myself out there also by going to events around town and introducing myself and making new connections. And I hung out with people that I admired or who were like-minded and who were self-aware and wanting the best for themselves. I was once in a job that didn't push my creativity and leadership skills and I've literally felt like my soul was dying. So I saved up enough money to quit and was an entrepreneur for a bit and then was invited to join a startup that was far more aligned to how I wanted to spend my time. And honestly, I wouldn't have been able to do that without rewiring and radiating this new energy first, but both became a catalyst so I could replace my old life with my new life. But once you replace your old life with this new energy and mindset, how do you even maintain it? It's important, you wanna keep it, right? So that's why the last art routine is going to ensure that you can maintain this momentum and solidify all the hard work you've just put into reinventing yourself. 
You've seen so many talk about their morning routines, evening routines, and I used to think they're just stupid YouTube videos. <laughs> but honestly, I now know routines define and solidify our habits. I learned as a mother that children thrive off of routines. If I switched things up with my daughter, stayed up late, traveled to a new place, didn't do homework as soon as we got home, our whole day or evening, whatever it might be, would get thrown off. But the same thing could be say, said as even as adults. I mean, typically we build the wrong routines. We wake up, get on our phones. Somehow we make it out the house to work, get back on our phones, answer emails, calls, get home, figure out dinner, get ready for bed, bed more phone time, scrolling, Netflix, then fall asleep or maybe get back on the phone. I mean, honestly, our biggest issue is that we don't build routines to help us thrive and excel. We typically create ones that keep us stuck in a cycle. And so as you approach reinventing yourself, you really need to tap back into how your higher self would navigate on a day-to-day -day basis. So think about it. You know, what time would your higher self wake up at? What is the first thing that you're going to do when you get up? How do you set the tone for your day? What will you do when something unexpected happens? Are you gonna pay attention to all the phone notifications and the calls, the interruptions that you get at, to get you out of your flow and your routines, the things that get in your way? How are you gonna dis handle those disruptions? And then how are you gonna end your day? What's the routine with that? Because honestly, being intentional and mindful with your routines are going to be a big key to successfully reinventing yourself. Repetition here is a good thing. Here's the thing though, you're never gonna have a perfect day. You certainly don't wanna relive Groundhog's Day on repeat because spontaneity is totally fun. And you definitely need to live in the present, but you can ensure that each day you lay your head down or when you open your eyes, you feel good and you feel ready to embrace all of life is providing and the opportunities that you can explore. And that all goes into how you plan and approach your day. I'm a big fan of the saying that Luck is truly where opportunity and preparation meet. And so ultimately it takes discipline to build a routine to drive. I feel like the four hour plan is really a way to help you get back on track. And if you fall back into your old habits and misbeliefs. So if you're already in the midst of reinventing yourself, I definitely love to know which R are you working on? Because let's encourage one another in the comments. Let's help each other thrive. However, as a certified project manager, don't I sound so official? <laughs> if all of this sounds a bit overwhelming, it's okay, I got you. Because I've got an actionable plan for you to help you get your life together for the entire year, any time of the year. Check out this video on planning your best year ever with me, a certified project manager. And let me know if you want more videos like this. I'm so excited to be moving forward with this new vibe, new energy on my video podcast. Really, this space that I'm creating on Life by MJ is for those who want the most out of their life. We're life lovers, okay? And so life lovers, if this is helpful to you, please put a thumbs up, please leave some comments, please share this with a friend. If you're listening to this on a podcast, leave me some feedback, leave a review. It's super duper helpful. And honestly, let's continue to grow together. Let's continue to explore and progress together and reinvent ourselves. And I'll see you all next time, life lovers. Bye.